Ruth here, and this is the January, uh, what is it called? Yummy New Year or something like that? Something like that. I'm gonna have to relook at the, uh, cover of the picture I already made. Um, anyway, as you see, this is my first Nihon box. So as you see on the, uh, thing, so it says Nihon box here. Yeah, a lovely little temple, the uh, shrine. Thingy. Yes. <clears throat> and it's got some other things on there. And it has on the other side, it's got a sumo poster, I guess. And some more other things on that side. Okay, so this is quite exciting. I did get February's too because I forgot to cancel the subscription. But uh, we'll see if I get marshes if I like the theme or anime involved. So, I just already cut the sides to be easier. Ooh. It says, Discover Japan through the best otaku and traditional items packed with love in Tokyo. But that's what it says. Yep, Yummy New Year. That's what it's called. Also, it says, Share your. Nihon box the hashtag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Anyway, this is the ooh, all lots of yummy goodies. Yummy New Year. This should be interesting. I mainly got this because it had it featured, as you might be able to see, with the. Uh, hopefully, I'm not. Walking into anything. Okay, let's see what we've got. Inosuke and Tanjiro. So, Demon Slayer is in this box. So is Food Wars. That might be Kirby. And that's Snorlax, so Pokemon. So, three of the four that I really like. I don't... Kirby's okay, but I've never really been too interested. So, yeah, that's this little poster. Well, themed title poster silhouette thing. So yeah, that's nice. I mean, I probably would not put it on my wall, but, uh, but yeah, it's a better picture. There it is. Now, on to the main stuff. So we've got a, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a cheat sheet, so I don't look at that. But, uh, There's a uh, Mega New Home Box Trainer Training Lucky Draw. This month, one lucky surprise will receive additional addition to this box. Fire Force. Okay. Mm. That's cheap. Uh, cheat sheet back to the side for a second. Um, well, the first thing. Awesome. We've got some Food Wars chopsticks. And this uh, Yukihiro Soma on the top. Very nice. Got like these ridges on the bottom too. Alright. Back. <laughs> as you see, as I said, Yuki Hirosuma is on these Food Wars chopsticks. I'll just move the scissors out of the way. Okay, so next up we have this <laughs> cute little, I guess, I, really, I don't know what they're called exactly, but it's those these little wooden plaques that they hang up on the uh, shrine. Um, I like those, uh, well, like wishes and stuff. Anyway, if that is a rat, it looks more like a mouse, really. But if that's a rat, it'd be like, you know, in, in a, like, it's the year of the rat this year, so maybe. I have no idea. I'll look at the cheat sheet later. <laughs> and here we have, ooh. 
you poke them in a little towel. Hand towel? Caviar? Okay, it's so nice. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just laying it on here. Oh. Well, I know my, my friend on Instagram, Sleepy Snorlax, we love this. <laughs> it has got different Snorlaxes in different poses. The more iconic normal pose, like that one and that one. The loads of little Pokeballs. That's sweet. Awesome. So that's that. Pokemon towel. It's a bit bigger than a normal hand. Well, I guess it would be a hand towel because what they uh, they call it over there is a face towel, which is a lot smaller than this one. Which I do have a few face towels, which I use as hand towels. But anyway, so that's that. Next up, we got this. Kirby, uh, what is it? It's, I have no idea. Just squishy. It's got a uh, texture on the back. Looks like this. It's got different texture material on the back. Next up, oh, what's this? Oh, we've got a Attack on Titan a key holder type thing. Okay, well, it's different. And it's alright. I personally wouldn't use it, so I'll probably sell that on my eBay or something. Okay, I'm not sure how that has anything to do with the yummy. Okay. And here we have noodles. I cannot read it. So I don't know if it's in that section of Japan where it's from. Otherwise. But uh, anyway, I'm guessing it's just the standard three minutes. Oh, right, so that's nice to add something to me to new to try out. And that this is the last one. Last thing. Oh, on the bottom it says enjoy your Nihon ball. Let's get the camera pointed that way. Let's try it again. There. And this is, to be honest, my least favorite character from the Demon Slayer. But. Show you. I don't know if I'll take it out of the box yet or not, but let me just put these in the box for a second so I can have space to show you. Ta da! It is Inosuke. And supposedly, say so yeah, Super premium, that's what it says. Type figure, Sega. And that's him without his head thing on. I mean, you wouldn't think it looking at his face, but it's got such a pretty boy face. Anyway, that's. Yeah. That's how you put them together. 
To be honest, I was hoping for Tanjiro or Nezuko for the figure, but okay. Okay, an option of Inosuke, um, <clears throat> Zenitsu, or Tanjiro. Would have preferred Tanjiro, but there we go. Okay. Okay, so first of all, What's in your box this month? So first up. Let me just see. Okay, so there. First up is this cute little thing. It's called the New Year Emma Board, made in Japan. This beautiful and traditional small wooden plaque called Emma was made in Japan exclusively for Nihon Box subscribers. Design the design symbolizes the new year with a mouse. 2020 being the year of the mouse. Technically, it's a rat. From what everything I've read, it's a rat. It could be a mouse, I mean, they look similar relatedly. Uh, as well as a Daruma, Japanese flowers, and traditional patterns. Yeah. Got the sakura on there. Sakura, you know, cherry blossom things. Got some rope. Some, I guess those are waves, I think. And uh, Mount Fuji and a sunset thing going on there. And this is kind of a flowery pattern here. I don't know if you can see it that well, that'll work. Okay. I don't know if you can hear my sister shouting no for no reason. Please ignore. I do. Most of the time. Um, as I was saying, the battery died by the way. Um, you can write your wishes for this new year on the back. Which, of course, I don't want to actually write on the back. But you can write on the back because it's blank. Okay. <laughs> no. Wait, no, that's already down. Okay. So next up, we have this. Just move it around. This soup takes center stage. This is a Takana Ramen. Get ready to use your new Food Wars chopsticks right away with this delicious ramen. It's a specialty of Hakata in Fukuoka Prefecture in southern Japan. The noodles are quite thin, the broth is made from pork, and there is also some Takana and a vegetable, a vegetable often used in this ramen recipe. So that's different. Okay, so next up, we got these Food Wars chopsticks that I was raving about. And take Japan's most typical kitchen accessory and mix it with the current most popular manga for foodies. You will get these exclusive Food Wars chopsticks along with the similar Yukino, Yukihiro, the protagonist of the manga. You're sure to enjoy all of your next Japanese meals. Okay. Next up, we got this Snorlax Pokemon Towel. Snorlax is a Pokemon known for its excessive, excessive sleep, huh? Excessive sleeping and eating habits. Yeah, 
You don't need an S on there. Um, this month he invited himself in the home box with a nice hand-drawn design towel. We are more than happy to feature another beautiful and useful product in your box. Okay, next up is the Attack on Titan key cover, which is this thing. I don't watch Attack on Titan, to be honest. As in Demon Slayer, the antagonists of Attack on Titan have only one idea in mind, to devour humans. Okay. Uh, fortunately, the survey corpse is already is ready to get rid of them. This month in your box, the survey corpse team will be uh, will rather protect your keys with three characters available at random: Aaron, Levy, or G. And since I can't read the Japanese, I'm not sure who that is. I'm pretty sure it's either. I think it might be Aaron if they labeled it in the uh, way they put it on the picture. Is that Aaron? Or is that Levy? To be honest, I don't know because I don't watch this. I'll have to look it up. Okay. I wonder why they didn't put Attack on Titan in the silhouette poster thing. They put two Demon Slayer characters. I'm going to say things there because that's the uh, shapes of Tanjiro's earrings. But that's it. Anyway, uh, moving on. We have the Kirby Sponge Bath. Don't you mean bath sponge? Not sponge bath. Okay, so I'm going to bring these goodies to the side again. There he is. Well, pretty. Yeah. No, he's standing there. Okay, um. I'm just gonna say Kirby bath sponge because it's not a Kirby sponge bath. That's like, is a thing, not an object. Like, anyway, a true glutton and one of the cutest Japanese video game characters. It's the famous Kirby. Enjoy washing your body with this very original Kirby sponge bath. Bath sponge, please. And if you rather keep it clean, you can simply use it to decorate your bathroom. True. I did wonder why it was so, you know, thing. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Boop. Made in China. <laughs> okay. So. The main reason I got this box was for the figure, but I don't actually like Inosuke. So, let's just put it up front. Super premium figure, Kimetsu no Yaiba, which is Demon Slayer. Uh, this is not a dream. We really put a Demon Slayer, Kim Kimetsu no Yaiba figure, in your new home box this month. It's the manga phenomenon that is currently breaking all records in Japan, and we know there is a lot of fans in the new home box community, as well as in our team. Three figures are available at random in your box, which as I said, Tanjiro, Zenitsu, or Yosuke, which I got Inutsuke, which is okay, as you see. This is Zenitsu, or Tanjiro, which is the main, main character. It would be cool if they had an option of Nezuko too, though. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, because like, I technically really don't really, really like Inutsuke, but I don't mean, I don't know, no, I don't know. Anyway, this little leaflet thingy also has some other information. It says, Akimashite omedetou gozaimasu. 
which I'm guessing is Happy New Year. The entire Mohan Box team wishes you a Happy New Year 2020. Being in love with the Japanese culture, that what better way to start the year off than with a new Nihon Box? Pretty much nothing, especially since the first 2020 box should make you very happy. Especially since this... I can't read, anyway. Uh, this month, the theme of your Nihon Box is Yummy New Year. The characters addicted to eating and manga mainly related to food, times and games included. You will be able to enjoy a delicious ramen thanks to the pretty food wars practice we were living. Products featuring Kirby and Snorlax are also invited to the party. Finally, and for the very first time, but certainly not the last, we feature the manga of the moment, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, through a beautiful product that should definitely please you. Like every month, we did our best to satisfy Japan lovers like you, and we hope you will enjoy the treasures of this box. Thank you for your support throughout 2019. <clears throat> this is my first box. Uh, we are more than ready for a new year full of discoveries. See you soon. This is the little sheet. Yeah. And also, like, that's that's what the thing was here. But on the back, oops. On the back, it also has this. I probably won't read it all. Discover Japan. Every month, learn more about Japan and its culture. Um, well, this is basically about Demon Slayer, who is by, like, where it started. Ooh, best-selling manga of 2019, surpassing One Piece, a first since 11 years. Last September. Total sales exceeded 20, no, 12 million copies and 1 million units of the latest volume, uh, number 18, were printed. That's cool. Uh, it says why it's popular. Says the next episode of the anime is expected to be released this year in, J in Japanese theaters. In the meantime, you can enjoy the first season and right here. Um, well, from what I've seen, there's, there's going to be a movie, not a, another series. From what I know. Um, yeah, and this little thing that I mentioned earlier about. An extra goodie which I didn't have, which is fun, I totally fun because I mean Fire Force is good. I still need to finish watching it. But not a favorite favorite. I mean it's good, but not a total favorite of mine. Anyway, that's the Nihon Box logo thing. It's very nice, uh, colorful cheat sheet, I gotta say. That's it. That's everything. So, yeah. My thoughts? Um, well, since the main reason I got this figure, this box, was for the figure, and considering I don't really like the character that was randomly put in mine, unfortunately. Well, I have to... Hmm, I'm slightly, slightly disappointed. I don't... Was there even a thing about Attack on Titan inside this box? I don't think so. I can't remember really anymore. I'll have to relook at the, uh, the thing. But anyway, yes, this. Really wished it was. Well, let's see, I mean. His pretty boy face isn't that bad. Like, you know. 
just his animal mask is a little off-putting. I mean, it's amusing on some scenes, but not on a lot of others. And it seems like he really put this together in a lot of parts. Well, technically there were four stages, but still. It should be interesting to put it together. I don't know if I'll put it together or not. Or just leave it in the box like that for now. Because I don't have any space anyway, so. Um, yeah, anyway. My favorite item of the box. Oh, well, that's a toughie. Because I like the towel. And I like the ramen, obviously. Because I like eating ramen. And I like the chopsticks. And I like the Emma board. Thank you for watching, like us for more, ring the doorbell for notifications, over and out. Oh, and just to remind you, I do a February's box ordered by accident because I forgot to cancel my subscription. But yes, I cancelled it for March, but I'll resubscribe if I like what I see, what, what the new theme will be, or the anime it contains. Yeah. Toodles!